Hello dear friends, in trick number 175, today we are going to solve two very very important problems which are related to the important concept of compound interest. Now this problem exists in class 8th and very useful uh, concept for competitive exams and students who are preparing for uh, bank exams and all exams involving numerical ability they face such questions. These questions consume a lot of time by traditional method. Today I am going to tell you shortcuts for solving two such problems. Now the first problem which I am going to take up is that it is given that there is a sum of money which is invested at compound interest. Now at compound interest it is given that the sum of money doubles in a particular time say here we are given in 4 years and now we have to find in how much time will it becomes 8 times. So we need to find the time in which the same amount of money will become 8 times of its principal value. A very important question and traditional method will consume a lot of time. Obviously when you are having a shortcut up your sleeves then it saves a lot of time. Now here I go. This is the shortcut for solving this very important question. Now see this value double. Double means 2 multiply by 2. I will assume this value as m and this 8 times. This value 8 I will assume as n. The time given here I will assume as t1 and the time which is to be found out I will assume this as t2. Now I need to relate these four variables. Through the shortcut these four variables can be related and the relation goes like this m raised to the power of 1 upon t1 is equal to n raised to the power of 1 upon t2. Now very simple shortcut and if you solve this question through this shortcut you will get the answer in a matter of just 4 to 5 seconds. Now see just substitute the values m here is double, double means 2 time is 4 years so 1 upon 4 here n is 8 so 8 times and we need to find the time t2 in which the money becomes 8 times. Now see here we have base 2 and here we have base 8 so in competitive exams you will find that both these numbers can be expressed in the same powers. So here power of 2 is there so we can convert this 8 also in the power of 2. So 2 raised to power 1 by 4 will be equal to this is 2 raised to power 3. So 3 and 1 upon t2. So here we have power 1 upon 4 and here 3 into 1 by t2 that is 3 upon t2. So if you cross multiply this you will get t2 as 4 into 3 that is 12 years which is your required answer. So you see I have written all the steps here and still I have taken just 20 seconds to explain this how to put and substitute the given values and find the unknown variable. In competitive exams if you know the concept you can solve this question in a matter of 5 seconds only. Now another such problem of compound interest very common problem in competitive exams. Now in this question also there is a sum of money. Now the sum of money amounts to, now the amount is given, amount, a particular amount is given say rupees, I have rupees 25,000 and the time in which this amount is obtained 
is also given. So the time is given is six years, and the same amount of money, the same sum of money, gives a different amount in a different time. So now I'll take a different amount received. Say this time the amount received is twenty seven thousand. I'll just rub off the units here so that you don't get confused. So we get twenty five thousand rupees after six years. And twenty-seven thousand rupees in the consecutive year. That is, difference of years should be one. So here we have obtained in six years. So we will obtain this amount in seven years. The question, the trick which I am going to tell you is applicable only for the amounts received in two consecutive years only. So we need to find the rate of interest. now again the shortcut if you do it by traditional method you will come up with two equations which you have to solve and get the value of the rate of interest but through the use of shortcut just a matter of 4 to 5 seconds you get the answer now see the rate percent r percent now to assume all the values which are written here i don't need the times just observe that the difference between the two times is one year and the method can be applied to only such questions so i need only these two amounts now suppose the first amount is m1 and the second amount is m2 so i'll frame the formula first difference of amounts upon the amount obtained in the first instance multiplied by 100 this will give you the required rate of interest now just substitute the value here m2 is 27000 m1 is 25000 divided by the same value here 25000 in 200 so two zeros cancel out 27000 minus 25000 is 2000 and divide by 250 the exact 8% per annum is your rate of interest now you see no formulas no complicated calculations just the knowledge of one little shortcut and you will be able to solve the problem without any fuss in a matter of 4 to 5 seconds only so here we have one shortcut for a particular type of problem and another shortcut for another particular type of problem related to compound interest so keep learning these shortcuts and come up successfully in competitive exams so share and subscribe the channel if you like it